Well, good day, everyone. Today, a little something special. Good old Mr. Dusty Dave has been playing with an old farm of ours. Apparently, born back in the days of Farm Sim 2011, this map has been through several iterations. The original creators of long walked away from it, but uh, Dusty Dave seems to have gotten permission to uh, to bring it to 17. This version that you're seeing here is kind of a late beta, I would call it. It's uh, quite advanced for what it is. There's still a lot of things going on with it. I really like the cow grates, by the way. Gets you, gets you out of having to leave these gates closed all the time. So what you just saw there is the sheep area. It's up in the top north-hand side of the map. So it's just gorgeous in here. Beautiful big grass meadows. I mean, you know, if you were just going to do sheep, you could live up in this corner and do nothing but sheep. It's really quite spectacular. So just harvesting hay, lots of storage space here. It's all pretty spectacular stuff. So I'm just going to take a little walk on the map just to show it to you. Of course, you know, it's my style of a map review, so it's not going to give away all its secrets. There's really so much on here that you want to be able to just discover for yourself. I'd be cheating you if I if I just walked you through it and just gave it all away. So here's a dairy farm. It's a dairy and pig farm. And this is what really interests me about this map, actually. Is I'm thinking that now that we've sort of done the cow thing ad nauseum with... Uh, Mountain Valley Farm, I wanted to do a pig series. I wanted to do a series where we had to grow the food. Oh, there's a water point. Good, nice to have that right on the farm. So this is the dairy yard here. So tons and tons and tons of storage. Um, you know, bales in here if you wanted to. So across this little dirt path from the dairy farm, is your pig area. See that? That's gorgeous. So I don't know if the manure is inside the barn on this one too. This is a great little barn though and I mean you know you have your your straw and your equipment shed directly over here and your feeding area right here. It's not a drive-through area which I like. You have to back in your water trailer and they put a pond for the pigs so they can go play in the water. Although I don't think that they do, because farm sim. If you wanted to play this map as strictly as an arable farm, oh look at that, there it is. So this whole farm here, would you could set up as strictly arable. So you have these nice large fields around you. If you wanted to just do harvesting of corn and stuff like that, it's all quite doable. Now, just uh, so you know, I've got this uh, map running with seasons on it, just for my own reasons. Oh, chickens everywhere, eggs everywhere. Sweet. I guess that's Dave's pickup truck. Dave's still living here, so. Dave's kind of got this map in progress. It's, uh, it's coming along fine. He's got a few little more details to take care of. Look at that, the forestry area actually looks like a plantation. I mean, it looks like a tree plantation. So, I mean, we could get a job at the tree plantation and just harvest those trees and then replace those trees and make enough money to pay for pigs and pig food and all that stuff. This is what he calls the contractor's yard. So it's just down the road. Like if you look down there, there's the entrance to the arable farm down there. And then he's got this area here, which is the contractor's yard which I find brilliant because there's so much equipment that you only use, you know, once a year, especially if you're playing with the Seasons mod. Like, you know, your harvester. Why is your harvester taking up room in your in your barn when you're just gonna use it for one part of the season? 
So all your harvesting equipment could just live out here. It would just be just perfect out here. Kind of a tight map, um, of course, being a British map. Mm, decisions, decisions. Let's go this way. But, you know, um, one of the things is there's no collisions on the hedges, which, you know, I think if we were going to play it, we play it as if there's collisions on the hedges. But I can see the attraction of that for people. Oh, yeah, and here's the hay sale point. So our neighbors have horses, and uh, we can sell them our hay and our straw and stuff like that for the horses. I always appreciate a good off-site hay sale point. Um, I'm thinking... There's a town over there with uh, a church and a campground and all sorts of beautiful things. I think I'm just going to cut through this farmer here's field. Because, oh, there you go. If I have a criticism about this map, it's that um, I find that the elements of Goldcrest don't necessarily fit, if you know what I mean. But that's always a personal choice. I mean, map makers find elements and find buildings and things on other maps and then they they just move into them right uh, wool sell point another hay sale point look at this sell point though this is beautiful so that's a sell point there with these massive silos super course play friendly um, automatic lights for night work if you're doing a night harvest um, Really, really nice stuff. So yeah, so um, actually, that's all I'm going to tell you guys about this map. It's just a really wonderful, small, medium-sized map. Um, it's got some heritage to it from being around for so long, from uh, 2011. So after we're done with a full year over on the uh, Mountain Valley Farm, maybe we move to Orchard Farm for a little while, do something different. You have yourselves a great night, and thanks for joining me.